Welcome to What We Watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, and today we are going over the movie Abigail. It was directed by Mark Bellatina Oldpin and Taylor Gillette. Stars Melissa Barrera and Dan Stevens and Alicia Weir. It is about a group of mercenaries uh, that were hired to uh, kidnap this girl and, for $50 million. So let's go ahead and show you the trailer. And then when we get back, I'll talk about it. It's a lot of fun. Roll them. came highly recommended you know the rules no real names no backstories no cell phones so whose kid is she a very wealthy man who's about to be 50 million dollars poorer i'm here to make sure you're safe what's your name mine's abigail you can call me joey do you have any kids i have a little boy see you in 24 hours. Do you know what a pinky promise is? If you behave and do as we say, like Pinky promise you, it'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah? I'm sorry about what's going to happen to you. What the fuck? We gotta get out of here. I think she knows something. Guys? Guys? Guys! Oh no! What the fuck is that thing? We kidnapped a fucking vampire. A ballerina vampire. Okay. How do we kill a vampire? What are we talking about? Like an Anne Rice or a True Blood? You know, Twilight? A stake through the heart. Daylight is a big one. All right, let's go kill us a fucking vampire. Ready? it a lot and it gets an 8.5 for me it's right up there with Renfield which is on modern uh, vampires that's awesome but it play, it pays a lot of homage to Bela Lugosi's Dracula in 1931 so let's start out with a couple of fun what's a grand film without a haunting score the opening title featured Travolsky's iconic theme from Swan Lake, which was premiered on March 4th, 1877, a Moscow Belushi theater. It was also used in the classic Dracula to open that film. So both songs uh, from Swan uh, in Swan Lake, the same song, opened this movie and opened... Uh, Dracula for Bela Lugosi in that movie. Check out Abigail's Rolls Royce. It's a registration number BLU 9051. Pays homage to Bela Lugosi, the legendary actor who is unforgettably the role of Count Dracula. I can see it. Bela Lugosi, you know, whatever. I, 
anyway, um, there was a unique twist in the pre-production, including Angus Cloud sketching penises. Just the directors asked uh, Angus to do this, and they picked the one that was going to go on um, Kevin Durant's face. And to finally say something, this is a direct quote from one of the uh, directors. Our thing with blood is that it always has to feel vicious. The minute it feels thin, it's not interesting. We want to stick it to you. I love this movie. I give it an 8.5. It is one of the best... Um movies for vampires I've seen. Now, I was impressed with uh, uh, Renfield and Nicolas Cage's vampire. And that was real bloody, too. But this one takes the cake. I mean, they had, like, for equipment, cannon blood. Meaning that they had a cannon that squirted out blood. That's awesome. So, anywho, I've had a great time today. I really had a great time watching this movie. It's a good All Hallows' Eve movie, if I'd say so myself. Rock and roll, right on. That's all I got for you today. So, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like and subscribe. The reason you like is because it gets me further in the algorithm. The reason you subscribe is to help me become monetized, which I dream for this channel. I really, really do. And if you can help me, that'd really be cool. So like and subscribe. Remember that I love every single one of you. And I want you to love every single one you know and try to ask them to do the same and so on and so forth. And we have peace, man, and not, and we can stop these wars, man.